And Premier Li Keqiang is on an eight-day official visit to Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, Latvia and Russia. China's One Belt Road Initiative, which is aimed at reviving the ancient Silk Road, has triggered policy changes in Central and Eastern European countries, including the Premier's second stop, Kazakhstan. The country launched some major infrastructure construction projects after China raised the initiative and laid out an ambitious goal of becoming a top 30 country by 2050. And earlier this year, CCTV's Han Peng paid a visit to the country and filed this report. To end poverty, build a road. This Chinese saying is now being put into practice in Kazakhstan. Alexander Nish has been working on construction sites for more than two decades. But he says over the past three years, most of the trucks he drives are made in China, and most of the roads he builds connect with China. The section of the road we're building is what our country calls the New Silk Road. This whole project will start from China's Xinjiang and will span all the way to Western Europe. During its construction, we need good trucks that are able to withstand the heavy loads and the bumpy terrains. Right after President Xi Jinping raised initiative in late 2013, in 2014, Kazakhstan has launched a massive infrastructure construction program called the Nordi Road, or the Bright Road Program. Aiming at connecting its much-needed nationwide highway network. Now in the construction, over 80% of the trucks now being used in its capital Astana are being imported from one Chinese company called the Shackman or the Shanxi Heavy Duty Company. The company says that demand is still growing fast, with Kazakhstanis often ordering over a hundred per deal. The production lines are located thousands of miles away in the Chinese city of Xi'an, also known as the starting point, Silk Road. Here, a truck is completed within just three or four hours. In its full capacity, the plant is able to produce around 300 trucks every day. They look highly similar to the German brand Mann, a result of a decade-long partnership between them and this Chinese company. With a European face and European quality, the company says, the truck has an affordable Chinese price. Such a combination helps us expand our market in Central Asia very effectively. That's what developing countries need. Now a large part of our strategy is based on China's One Belt, One Road initiative. Last year, Premier Li Keqiang and his Kazakh counterpart, Karim Masimov, signed deals worth 24 billion U.S. dollars. Most of them focus on infrastructure and industrial capacity cooperation. The fast-growing business ties are also influencing the younger generation. This Chinese language school was one of the earliest ones to open in Kazakhstan, founded in 2001. But its principal says it was not until recent years that their enrollment started to explode by doubling or tripling every year. We decided to set up this college because the relationship between China and Kazakhstan has begun to develop rapidly. And now, China's initiative of One Belt, One Road will give our students much greater prospects. For these students, learning Chinese can be quite a struggle. And for the truck driver Alexander Nish, his job is also a demanding one. But many in the country believe they cannot afford to pass up the opportunity that have been presented because of China's rapid development. Han Peng, CCTV.